Today we're sharing with you how we built our very own self-composting outhouse and made it look really, really beautiful along the way. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. I always have my vision in mind, but can't exactly portray it perfectly, so Gordon ended up taking over the drawing because he knew exactly what I was trying to portray. Whenever we're starting a new project, we always like to draw it out on paper and then write down our dimensions. That way we know exactly how much wood we need to purchase from the store. What's up, y'all? We're here at the flea market. We're gonna go inside and try to find us some windows and a chandelier for our new project. We're at the workshop now, and we're going to show you how to build your very own outhouse. We're using 4x4s for the skids underneath, and I'm going to cut a 45 on each end. That way, if you got to move it or drag it, it's not just pushing dirt, it'll kind of skid up over it. So this is just another skid to go in the middle. We'll have the 4x4s on the ends, and then we'll put a 2x4 in the middle. That way when you go to step on the floor, it doesn't flex underneath the person. Now we're going to cut the deck boards. These are going to go over the skids, and this will be your floor. We're going to cut them at 48 inches because the outhouse is going to be 4x4, and Bella wants a porch, so that's it's really going to be 4x8. So width will be 4 feet. We're going to cut these at 48 inches. And I set up a stop because I got to cut a bunch of these so there's no point in just measuring each piece and marking it. That way I can just bring the board to the stop and go each time.
floorboard and then we realized as I was putting in the last ones that we really didn't need to put the entire flooring on because we're gonna just cut it right back out for the porta potty. For the nasty stuff. So we just stopped with those boards. Now I got all the lumber cut to build our first wall. Side one's done, now we're gonna get started on side two. The studs ended up at about 20 inches on center. So the side walls are up now, we're just gonna measure in between them for the back. That's the easiest way to do it. I like to be honest, and I did make a little bit of a mistake here. I wish I would have let this top board run all the way across because, like we said, Bella wants her porch, and this board should really run all the way over and then come back on top of this post. I'm just going to scab a little board in there, and it'll be fine. We just finished getting our walls up, we got our posts up for Bella's porch, and we got our top plate ran around the top. Next step is to put the roof on. So we're gonna build our rafters. We're gonna do a 12-12 roof, which is 12 inches of rise for every 12 inches of laterally or horizontally traveled. And that's gonna be an easy roof because it's just gonna be 45 degree miters. Pretty simple, pretty standard. And we're gonna do probably four rafters across the top. Just this frosted glass spray paint um, as a semi-transparent finish and I'm just going to go ahead and spray our door glass piece so that can be drying.
We've now finished all the framing. We got the rafters on, all the walls are done. Now it's time to put the plywood on. So when you put your plywood on, make sure that where you break it, you break it on half the stud. That way you can have something to nail the other sheet that butts up to it. Now we're gonna start on our roof. So these are one by sixes that I ripped in half to about two and a half inches. And we're gonna put three on each side. So one at the bottom, one at the top, one in the middle. And the reason for this is because we're doing a metal roof. So for the metal roof, you just need runners to screw your metal roof to. So that's what we're doing here. You're nailing on your runners, make sure that you measure between your trusses or your rafters because they'll just be leaning each other way and you want to make sure that they're all nice and straight and plumb. We're back here on day two. We got the structure pretty much framed out last night. We're gonna go ahead and put the roof on put the trim on and then we'll put doors and windows and we'll just be ready for paint. Hey guys, I just went to Lowe's and picked out the color of paint that I'm going to be painting this and I went with fundamental white. So we just got the Duramax um, exterior paint and I'm gonna paint all of the outside now while Gordon's working on some more parts of the outhouse. We got our box built at the bottom here. We just put some 2x4s vertically and horizontally to nail the plywood to. And now we're getting ready to put in our vent stack. For the vent stack, there's not really any exact place you have to put it. I'm just tucking it back into the corner, leaving it a couple inches off the wall because there is a piece of flashing that goes on top of the vent stack right here. You got to make sure that if you put your vent stack all the way in the corner that this is not going past your roof. start putting the metal roof on make sure when you put your first panel on that you get it nice and square and how you want it because your first panel will dictate how the rest of them go so if you put your first one crooked your last one's going to be really crooked because they're all going to mate to each other and then you just use these self tapping screws right here that have the washer on them Where the roof meets the wall, we've got this gap right here, which is about three quarters of an inch. And the reason for that gap is because of 
the rafters hung off a little bit, which is what I wanted because what we're going to do is we're going to put a trim board up there that's going to sit right up tight to this and that will look pretty nice. It's about two and a half inches and then we're also going to have trim boards that come down the wall. The trim boards will also cover these seams right here. It'll be like a board and batten look. These boards will be about an inch and a half that go vertically. Good morning. So Gordon is already back at the shop working on the outhouse. I stayed behind a little bit this morning so I could work on a fun project for the decorations and I'll show you what I did. I'm about to head to Target to pick up um, a mat so I can have it on the front porch. I was weeding through my paint stash and I think this color will do. I was going for black and I can't tell if this is black or just a dark charcoal gray, but we'll do that one. We just finished the roof. We've got the flashing around the pipe and we put the metal around it. So when you put the flashing on your pipe, Make sure that you put metal over it and then you'll see we put a piece under it. That way when water runs down the roof, it will run over the flashing. Next step is we're gonna make the door. We're just gonna use this tongue and groove board right here. And these pieces will interlock together. And then we'll put a trim board around the perimeter and we're gonna cut out a hole for some glass to let some light in. just finished our door next step is to make the windows the way I make windows is I pretty much just make a picture frame and what I'll do is I'll cut a little groove in on the inside of the picture frame for the glass to slip in so this glass is a 16th the saw blades an eighth so it's gonna rattle a little bit but what we'll do is we'll put a little bit of caulk in there and once that caulk dries it won't rattle we have our sides and we have our top and bottom. And what we'll do is we will put the glass into that groove as we assemble it on all four sides, like so, and we'll glue our miters. And you'll end up with a nice window. And then it'll just hinge and that'll work out pretty well.
We just finished staining the door. We also stained the windows. All that's left is to put on the hardware, hang the doors and windows, and we'll be done. Belle will come in, put all her decorations, make it just how she wants it, and everything will be done, and we'll be hauling it off to the property. as bad as I thought it was going to be. We did it! Yay! Ooh, I know that was graceful. <laughs> I didn't even feel it. <laughs> that was way, way, way better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it's in! <laughs> You're going to live in it during hunting season? So here is our project that we were working on this past weekend. It is this beautiful farmhouse outhouse. It really, really turned out so beautiful. And let me take you on a little tour of it. So when you get to the front porch, I stained the porch with dark walnut and the pillars and I also stained those pieces of wood to make it look like exposed beams. Down here I made this rug and painted it. I also showed you how to do it in a 30 second TikTok video. It may actually be 15 seconds for all I know but the tutorial is on our TikTok channel if you want to learn how to do your own painted rug. This door just really turned out gorgeous. Let me see if you can see the planks from the side that Gordon did. And then this little wreath I made. Um, I just took a box with wreath and then added some ribbon and then did a bow and added that to that part. Moving on to the side, Gordon did this board and batten look with these pieces of wood and it hit all of our nails. So I think that really, really tied the whole sides together. And then on either side, there is windows, which you can actually, they're latched on the inside right now, but they are openable for ventilation. 
and eventually I want to get flower boxes well make flower boxes for the sides of each window just like I have on our chicken coop if you've guys seen our chicken coop before the roof we went with was metal it is gorgeous there's the vent stack and then let me show you the back okay here's the back just looks like that also if you couldn't tell we did add it to our orchard here uh, we can move it later on if we want to but that's just where we chose to drop it for now here is the other side same board and batten gorgeous and then let me show you the inside we open it up by this handle and here is the inside it's all white on the inside with the wooden beams stained because I wanted to look like an exposed wooden beam so it's all white on the inside and here's the toilet part the floors of course are stained this is what you see when you directly walk in when you turn to the right I have this photo hanging right here of this Scottish Highland I think it's so cute for the decor here are the windows I was telling you so there's latches and they can open up and then toilet seat it's a wooden toilet seat uh, right now <laughs> You can just see a whole bunch of dirt in there because we're actually going to be digging the hole because it's a self-composting toilet. So you dig the hole and it goes into the hole. But we can clean the seat out and it's self soft closing. Here is the toilet paper holder. So just looks like that. And right when you first come in, you see this bin and you're like, what is this bin? This bin is the wood chips, so once you go, you take a scoop right here and put it into the toilet. And above that, I have this mason jar that I found at Home Goods, I believe, and it has hand sanitizer in it because we obviously don't have any water ran right now, so hand sanitizer is what we're going to be using to wash our hands. I want to get some more pictures to decorate some more, um, kind of like the Scottish Highland, but that gives you a pretty good of an idea of what it looks like. It's a little bit plain right now, but I still think it's absolutely gorgeous. I had told Gordon actually that I was decorating this as if I was decorating my house, so he thinks I'm a little bit crazy, but I just think it's super super pleasing to the eye and I can't wait to get even more decor also let me show you this on the inside of the door so we've got that same handle that we have on the outside here is the latch so when you're closing it that's how you latch it nobody will bother you here's a view as if you were sitting <laughs> you come out to this beautiful view of our farm and then you can take a right into the orchard. Do, do.